Hey guys, it's Melanie. Um, I wish I knew what day of the week this was actually going up, but I do not. So happy whatever day of the week it is. Um, I got a little bit behind in September and didn't have time to upload my home fragrance empties from September. So we're gonna do it here at the beginning of October at some point. I have quite a bit of stuff to go through. And um, I can already tell that I forgot, I think, at least one or two things downstairs. So that's fine. I'll just mention them. Uh, it was a good month for burning and a really good month for melting. And I think this is the first month where I actually have my candle crack behind me. Do you see that blue thing right there? Whenever I mention that I put candles in a candle crock, someone's like, what is that? That's what it is right there. It's a crock pot for your candles. I have a whole video about it. It's called Candle Crock 101. Um, you can find candle crocks, uh, I think, on Amazon. They don't, they're not very pretty, but um, my friend Brett, uh, actually, he spray painted one of his, and um, I thought it looked really good, so apparently you can spray paint them. Um, I really like the one that I have, but if you're curious, I'll link the video down below, so whenever I say this ended up in the candle crock, you'll know that it was something like that. So I have two of those. I have one downstairs and then I brought the one that I normally have in my kitchen up here to be able to have in the background of my videos. I currently have in there a pumpkin sugar cookie. Do you guys remember when that came out? I think it, I, I think it was actually just a test scent. I only have that because my friend Jennifer, the show 78 actually on Instagram, sent that to me uh love her for that <laughs> um it was one of those scents that i was hoarding for the longest time because i was like oh i don't want to burn this because they never brought it back well i finally was like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna just start melting things i'm just gonna start lighting things up and enjoying them because life's too short so anyway that's what's in there right now that should be done in another day or two so you'll probably actually end up seeing that in october candle empties all right well let's start with this since here it is all right you can see that there is still wax in here but that is because when it got to this point i just put it in the candle crock because i got kind of bored with it and i wanted to light something else so pumpkin clove from bath and body works i did do an in-depth review of this um i like this i didn't love it i thought it was pleasant to burn one it was clove and pumpkin pretty much it. Um, nothing exotic here. Um, definitely had some nutmeg in there, but it was mostly clove and like pumpkin. It's very autumnal scent. Um, just not something that I would want to hoard. I have a lot of scentsy in here too, so we'll get to that. All right, this one. Okay, <laughs> this was the last waffle cone from this collection. Um, I just put this in the candle crop to begin with, so um, Never even lit this up, and uh, this uh, that's why these, uh, do you see how the wicks moved? That is because the candle crock warms up the glue on the bottom where the wick clips are, and they float around, and then when it solidifies, they find a new location for themselves. Um, I really like waffle cone, but this has never been repeated in that perfect format when it was in the ribbed uh, purple jar. That was the best. Luckily, I still have a lot of backups of that, so I can enjoy that for a few more years. But if Bath & Body Works does re-release this, I hope they do it with the formula that they had for the original. But anyway, that's kind of out of season right now. Um, let's go through my melt cups here. Um, the other one that I forgot to bring up was the sweet maple chai. That one just finished up a couple days ago. I will be emptying these melt cups out and saving them because I'm going to do what I did with this one here, which was I put some Scentsy in there. I think it worked okay, but all right. So sweet maple chai is done. I'll just pop that in the freezer and pop the wax out. Here is the cider house. Really lovely. Um, by the way, with these melt cups, once again, the wax doesn't dissipate because you're not lighting it, so you just lose fragrance. So then you're left with just colored wax, which is what this is. Um, lovely. I would definitely reconsider purchasing this probably next year. Right now, I want to be warming my beloved cranberry chutney, which is what was in here originally, but... Um, I then cleaned the cranberry chutney out when that was all done and I put in a Scentsy wax melt in sugar cookie and that worked out pretty good. So, um, yeah, anyway, 
I probably won't keep all of these. I might just, can these be recycled? Let's see. No. Um, nope. No, none of these can, but I'll, I'll clean out these two and keep these to just be able to reuse. Um, this one here was Farm Stand Festival. Didn't like this one. No, I'd pass on that. Uh, but Cranberry Chutney, it's one of my favorite Yankee scents, and the only way I can enjoy it now with any kind of fragrance throw is in the melt cup format, so that's how I'll get my fix for Cranberry Chutney going forward. Speaking of cranberry, cranberry pumpkin. Do you guys remember this? I have a lot of these and I'm enjoying them finally. Um, this was an amazing scent that Bath & Body Works put out back in 2015. Um, it was absolutely delightful, perfect burn. And they haven't brought it back since. Whatevs. Uh, you guys, I can't. <laughs> Okay, so I put this away, um, I burned it all the way down to the bottom, and then I picked it up when the wax was still, like, liquid, and then, obviously, anyway, it dried funky, but I burned basically the entire candle. There was a little bit of schmutz in here that I noticed kind of at, late in the game, but pumpkin pecan waffles. I love this scent. I always thought that I would hate it. I finally bought it and did an in-depth review on it, and I love it. I love this scent, you guys. I just do. I thought I was going to hate it. I thought it was going to be too sweet, too cloying. It's not. It's amazing. I know. I'm late to the game. Um, here is a spiced pumpkin cider in the little guy. Oh, this one got schmutzy and I missed it. This was just during the last burn though, in all fairness. And the last burn was just literally like the very like bottom section there. Um, I also have the full size. Where's the full size? Oh, here it is. Um, Full size, do you remember these? Uh, so these got so hot that the labels peeled off, so I had to peel the label off of this, but this is also spiced pumpkin cider. You can see down there. This came out in 2014. This is another one of the amazing um, scents that I think Bath & Body Works only put out once <laughs> for one season, and I don't know why. Spiced pumpkin cider is probably one of my favorite cider scents above Cider House from Yankee Candle, which is pretty amazing. Sorry, my lashes are being all funky. Um, above their pumpkin apple, or is it apple? apple pumpkin is Yankee. Uh, pumpkin apple, nothing I think has ever been as to quite as delicious as this. Maybe the crisp apple cider from Homeworks, but anyway, this was delightful. Enjoyed these during the month of September. I really like apple scents in September. I'm gonna lift this one up. It is still liquid. I just got this out of my candle crop downstairs. You can see this is like liquid and look what it is. I have a really sad story about this. So this is blackberry bramble tea. I do still have one more of the large jar and then I have several mason jars. I'm gonna set this down because I really don't want this to be all over my carpet. It's very purple. So here's the thing. I've noticed that a lot of my older Bath & Body Works candles are starting to lose their scent. That one burning smelled amazing still, but I could barely smell it. And when that was brand new, that was like an eight, nine out of 10 in terms of strength and throw. Um, it is not that anymore. It was like about a five, which is why I ended up putting it in the candle crock. It was a little bit stronger there, but nothing like the original, which is why I'm gonna reiterate one more time don't hoard your candles for too long. I think it's okay to keep them a few seasons, probably like maybe three, maybe four years, but I think at the four year mark, you probably wanna think about burning those. Even though you can't get them anymore, you might as well enjoy them because um, they're not gonna do you any good like sitting in a cabinet. So learn from my mistake. If you have candles that you absolutely treasure the smell of, burn them. Maybe burn them sparingly, but burn them and enjoy them because that is one of my favorite scents, again, from Bath & Body Works, and I could barely smell it. So this just taught me that I need to start going through my candles um, a little bit quicker and maybe stop purchasing new ones for just a little bit again, which is hilarious for me to say because you guys will be seeing a Homeworks candle haul probably this Saturday, but I can't help myself with Homeworks. All right, so, oh yeah, here is that format of the Blackberry Brumble Tea, the little mason jars they used to have. So finish one of those too. Um, Autumn from Bath & Body Works, love it. Autumn is always delightful and um, 
always recommend it. Um, sugared snickerdoodle. So at the halfway point, I decided I'm just going to put it in the candle crock and enjoy it there because I love this scent. Um, I think someone told me that they thought it smelled a little bit like pumpkin pecan waffles. I didn't get that. Um, this smells like a snickerdoodle cookie to me. Um, it's kind of a basic like sugar cookie dough base with some cinnamon sugar sprinkled on top. Like that's what that smells like to me. It did not smell like this, which uh, pumpkin pecan waffles, which to me like definitely has like, it smells like a breakfast. Like it smells like waffles and syrup and all kinds of other stuff. So anyway, warm apple pie, delightful most of the way down. And then the last little bit, I did put it in the candle crock. Actually, you know what? I didn't put it, this one in the candle crock because there was so little wax left. Um, I went ahead and put it on my uh, hot plate warmer. Worked great there. I wish the throw was a little bit stronger on that. Uh, pumpkin cupcake. Ugh. This was so weak this year. Um, I burned it to just below the halfway point and then put it in the candle crock. It performed better there. By the way, depending on the candle, I can get anywhere from a full candle, usually like a full week of fragrance out of when they're at the halfway point, usually like another like three, four days, and I, I leave my candle crocks on 24 hours a day, so keep that in mind. If you turn them off and let the wax harden, you're gonna preserve that fragrance, obviously, when you do that, so. But yeah, that um, that is about four or five days, somewhere around there. I mean, sometimes longer, or sometimes a little bit less. It just depends on the scent, but when I put a full candle in there, it's usually like a full week. All right, Harvest Leaves from this collection. This was the Today Special Value collection from last fall from Homeworks. Harvest Leaves is my favorite scent, and um, this one burned all the way to the bottom. Didn't have any problems with it. There was a little bit of schmut, schmutz as in wax left on the side here. Like you can see a little bit of wax around there, but. Other than that, this performed great. Loved it. Always love it. Um, this was the, uh, I know this looks awful. Um, this was the lemon poppy seed from this year's fall collection. Um, this was the one I got from Ulta that was smashed. I rejarred it into this jar. <laughs> and then um, because there were no wax clips, you can see there's no wax clips on the bottom. Um, eventually the wicks just gave out when it pulled out completely. This was a really lovely scent. I ended up just putting this on my hot plate warmer and finished warming it there um, for a few days. And um, there's still a little bit of lemon scent in here, but not very much, so I salvaged it. Um, just finished this this morning. <sighs> One of my favorites, berry pumpkin waffles from Homeworks. Delightful, amazing burn the whole way down. This um, Hobworks, Hobworks, what? hobnail collection from homeworks look at me making up words um this particular one was amazing the pumpkin patch set amazing the apple orchard set that they had amazing no performance issues with these um yeah good stuff here love these love that scent berry pumpkin waffles is amazing he didn't come back with it this fall i don't know why bring it back harry <laughs> incredible all right um Oh, I finally finished this. I really didn't want to. Marshmallow Musk from uh, Bath & Body Works. I love this scent. Um, I didn't want to finish it because I have not seen this back at all, and I only had one. This was a case of, like, regret of not stocking up, but... Mm. All right, this was Pumpkin Caramel Corn. Delightful. Uh, burned pretty darn good. The wicks are smashed in the bottom there because I had this sitting on top of there in my empties. So, uh, but yeah, this burned pretty much all the way down. There's a little bit of wax left in the bottom, but it's a very thin layer and I had no problems with this. Again, this was in the same collection that uh, this came in and then there was the autumn pine cone as well. So they did great, no complaints. Uh, Paris Cafe, this one. Uh, did end up in the camel crock. You can see those wicks really moved quite a bit. Um, this was lovely, but I just kind of got bored with it, so I put it in the candle crock for a few days. Uh, surprisingly, the scent faded fairly quickly on this in the crock, so I think I only had it in there for a few days down in my kitchen before I moved that candle crock up here. Um, now here's another Homeworks uh, 
spiced vanilla pumpkin. Delightful. Actually, this came in, these were a set, a set last year. Obviously not in this packaging. This is new from this year. Um, I got this one at Ulta. Um, but those came in a set together, so I still have several backups of it. And then also the other ones that I ordered from Ulta survived. So I have those, and I love the scent. I think it's delightful. Um, yeah, burned great. All the way down, just fine. No problems. Um, the only issue that I had with this one was that one of the wicks fell over, but it's, it's still pretty much pulled out the entire time. The last little bit, there's a little bit of wax left on the side, but that was it. Overall, good. A little bit of sitting on the side, it looks like, but not bad. That's not bad. Um, that was probably for me not trimming the wicks properly. The wicks this year on the Homeworks candles, by the way, are getting bigger mushroom tops, so you have to be careful to trim those off because they will cause sooting. Um, so that's why I have a little bit of that on the side. All right, two cranberry woods this month and a warm vanilla sugar in my wallflowers. Um, so got those. And then the last couple things here. I feel like Penny ran off with my other clamshells. I really think she did because I know I finished more than this. This is um, cherry almond pie from Bring Back My Bar, toasted marshmallow, and happy birthday. I'm positive there's more. I just don't know where Penny is hiding them. So you can see she got a hold of this one. She likes to chew on the corners of the plastic here. Yeah. Oh, she didn't get a hold of this one. Wow, that must have been buried in the bottom. <laughs> All right, guys, that is, that's it. Those are my home fragrance empties for September. October looks to be a really good month as well in terms of getting through some candles. I am using the Candle Crock. I have it on pretty much 24 hours a day. I am just trying to get through a lot of my candles. And again, let this be a lesson to you guys here. The fact that I kept this one, my precious. Well, this was from 2014, so you know this is a few years old. Um, I even grabbed my peanut butter pumpkin candle to burn this fall and also one of my nutmeg and spice candles uh, like and one of like the old school nutmeg and spice so not like the newer version that they came out with a couple years ago which sucked um yeah I'm just I'm gonna burn that stuff you guys there's no reason for me to keep it there's no point in keeping it um I just need to enjoy this stuff so anyway I am now going to clean the wax out of these you can see actually the ones that I still need to clean out from last month have been sitting back here <sighs> I pop them in the freezer and right now my freezer is really full so I haven't had enough room to put those in there but I need to like clear it out and just start recycling this stuff so um, yeah I clean it out um, the homework jars I keep and repurpose for other things like q-tips and paper clips and pencil cup holders and stuff um, and then the Bath and Body Works ones, uh, you can recycle once you get the wax out and the labels off. You can just put those in your glass recycling. So that's what I do with them. That's it. All right. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Let me know what you finished during September down below in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.